All right, <clears throat> it's about six hours in the last one. I got some sleep. I woke up far too early. I woke up like four hours later, and I was like, "Oh, that's not good." Especially since I have a stream later today. But uh, let's continue, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Fran did level up. Okay, um, let's get Fran to fifteen before I do anything. Um, that sucks. She's. I hate that there's one person lagging behind, but it just kind of has to happen. Uh, new areas. Woo. I think we're in the... No, oh, wow, this is much quicker than I thought it was. Hold on. So this is the Sand Sea. I didn't realize... There's a whole section of the Western Sand that we didn't even... That we just skipped over, which seems weird. I think it also leads to, like, the Zenithian Caverns or something, and that's where you find Aldramilk. I can't pronounce his name right. It's the Dragon uh, Esper of Thunder. Completely optional. That's a pretty neat cutscene, to be honest. I like the, uh... The whole sand aesthetic. I like the uh, kind of evaporation seeming thing. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Fucking roll with it. I don't like the music that goes with this area. Because I feel like this music belongs better in like a cave or something. But the area itself is pretty cool. I like the idea of like an actual like ocean of sand. Which doesn't make any sense, but so magic. Where exactly is Wraithwall's tomb? Far to the west. We must first cross the Ogir Yensa, and beyond that the Nam Yensa, before we reach the tomb. An expanse of desert larger still than all of Delmasca. We must pace ourselves. If you grow tired, we stop and take rest. You don't have to worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. That's debatable. <laughs> you are at that. No. So, uh, I only remember two, three of the bosses that are coming. Oh, cool. Well, uh, I was glitching the, the thing. I was going to say, wow, they actually bury their feet in sand. I was like, nope, just, just a graphical glitch. I'm just trying to look to suck this game's dick more. Yeah, that's all sand. I wonder if it would be like, just, if that's, the idea is just like quicksand, but on a much bigger scale. Alright, I believe there are, I think, tomatoes running around here. Uh, I got a potion, thanks. You know, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to put the diamond armlet on, because, um, I mean, a lot of these are giving me pretty shit rewards anyway, and if it's, it's a chance at a better one, that might be good. Yeah, I, I fucking knew there were tomatoes. Uh, it's gonna be good to... Oh, shit, you know what? I wanted to, um... I wanted to buy the plant one. The, the plant grimoire, but I didn't. I kind of regret that now. I wonder if it makes sense to have Balthier run in and try and steal. I don't... I'm, I'm hesitant to put that back on, but... Since we're doing slightly better than we have for a while, I feel like I can probably do this. Uh... I, I guess I'll just do... It's highest HP, uh, foe HP, 100%. Um, I wish there was a way you could set it to only do it once. But, it's whatever. Steel. Uh, I did take high potions off, but I did give him the ones, so if I get afflicted with status effects... Oh, he already had it right here. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, that's fine where it is. And then... Let me see. Fran's okay. She needs more gambits. I think you can have up to 15 on each person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't want to use Spinello if I can help it. But I will if I have to. Just to, because I'm gonna ha eventually have to. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm gonna put Libra back on. I think... I think Sposh has it right now. Nope, right there. I'm glad I didn't sell both of them. That was pretty... Pretty good. I hate that there are traps just fucking out and about. While Thier's HP is 2,000, that's great. I really need to get friends up to that next HP boost, and then she'll be a lot less uh, fragile. I'm gonna earn, which almost always has maps. See, I kind of, I don't know. I like that that's there, and it's gonna be helpful when I get need the trophy for getting all the um, things like revealed. Also, you couldn't tell. This area is not fun. Um, it's very confusing. It leads to a lot of different places. 
Uh, I don't know the exact area where we fight the Bagolis, but I'm pretty sure it's close. Ooh, wait, this can't be a map. What's in this one? Okay, oh, okay. That's fair. So there's two parts of the sand sea, kind of like how there's an ester sand and a wester sand. There's the, um, the sand sea, and there's the nam sea, er, no, there's the ogier. We, I, fucking it's, who gives a shit? Impossible to explain. Why are they stealing handkerchiefs? That's weird. It's weird that they have multiple steals. Um, but yeah, this is definitely where we fight the Bagolis. I don't know the exact area. But it can't be that bad. Also, these are giving a lot of XP. They're giving like 87. Might be because I chained them, but I don't think so. Oh man, I'm worried how far I overleveled. I was having a lot of trouble with the Bagolis. I wonder if they're supposed to be like a tougher enemy. You're not supposed to see that often here. That would make me feel better. Or it would make me feel better if they were more common. Because then I'd be like, alright, because I, st I still struggle on these. A construct to draw oil from the ground. Abandoned many years now, it seems. Did Dalmaskans build this? No, the Rosarians. Their empire lies far to the west, ever at war with Arcadia. Heedless of the kingdoms caught in their midst. Dalmasca, Nebradia, Landis. Tis the small craft's fate to watch the list of the galleons and pray for light winds. Vosla, why are you here? Imagine my surprise when upon my return to Bojerba, I find both you and the Lady Ash have vanished. I thought you above consorting with Sky Pirates. Malthir is a man worthy of our trust, and it was the Lady Ash's decision. I am content to lend my arm. As I could not when Rasla died, when her throne was taken. Never again. I will defend her this time. You walk the night's path. The Lady Ash? We should leave this place. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Something far worse. I see. So the Dawn Shard does lie in King Wraithwall's tomb. The Marquis sympathizes with your plight. Yet the Empire perches as a carrion bird on his shoulder. He can keep whispers of your abduction silent for only so long. Yes. Tell me, Vossler, what have you accomplished? We leave at once. This is Urutan Yensa territory, and they are unfond of visitors. This reminds me of uh, some of the cutscenes from 10. Like, I'm used to the, uh... It almost looks like the scene with Home and the Albed. Just that general desert area. This was a lot more, or a lot better done, but... Yeah, I guess we gotta fight Tusken Raiders. Also, let me just make them mandatory. I don't like sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. I'm acting so hard, I'm Hayden Christensen. I don't know why I'm making Hayden Christensen sound British, because he's not, but still. Looks like we've attracted the wrong sort of attention. Let's quit this place for the I don't Move. think he is. Vossler. Have you found the means to restore Dalmasca? First we must claim the Dawn Shard. It all begins with that. Vossler joins his party as a guest again. This time in his shitty outfit. I really don't like his design. Like, the colors are weird. Uh, I like both ears. Franz is friend. And then even Vaughn's I like, because I like the colors. But fucking Vossler. Uh, did my XP go down because Vossler's here? Because I'm sharing more XP or something? Alright, so... I really, really wish I could make the party just, like, stay, stand still. Fucking... Nothing I could have done. I think, I forget how it works, but I think Cura in this game, I think it makes, I think it restores HP to everyone, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so I wish I could zoom out more on this. It really bothers me. Um, I don't know where these lead. I want to try and go to the different areas, though, because that'd be interesting. Uh, I'm probably trying to aim for that, I think, so we can get back down. I don't know what's over here. Did I come from that area? did. Okay. 
to put in a giant fucking circle. And not to regain my MP this time. Oh, I can go on the ground, okay. <laughs> I like that, um... I like the both ears just ran and just stole before anyone else did anything. Oh, I should have bought more Phoenix Downs. I feel like I'm gonna regret that. Well, I mean, I'm not dying, so it's fine at the moment. But still, I don't, I don't like being low on Phoenix Downs. Like that's, that's a run killer right there. Someone leveled up, and I'm willing to bet it was Fran. No, who was it? I think it was uh, Balthier. All right, we got another treasure hidden in my trap that we're definitely gonna trigger. I can't. Please speed up. Not worth it. Again, maybe I should. Let's see how much, uh... I can... I'm going to blind with that. I'll leave it for now. Um, it doesn't really seem that worth it to me. 95% is not great, to be honest. Um, I should try and go up to that other platform. The one I didn't get to explore. I am happy to be getting loot again. Because that means I have a, a revenue stream again. As fun as it is to fight Empire guys. They, uh, they don't drop shit. And so... This is helpful. Um, some climb to the top of the oil platform. I don't know what'll be up here. I doubt it'll be anything. Um, but I'll try. Obtain a golden amulet. That was worth it. Uh, I don't know what the golden amulet does. It pr probably prevents something and boosts something else and halves damage from this element and blah 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 blah. Where did they all come from? Okay. So I want to. Check the map. Where did I go? Okay. I didn't check this one. Now, speed up is really a god's... Oh, this is def... No, it's not. Damn it, I'm really looking for that one platform. Because there's no way they wouldn't reuse assets. I'm looking for the one platform that we've been to a bunch of times. I can't find it. Gotta be honest, the remedy wasn't really worth it for that. And the enemies respawn, too. I don't like that they have the random tomatoes here to break the chains... Fran's 15. Let's get her to 16, so she's at least equal to everyone else. Not that it matters that much. I don't think... I mean, level's important, obviously, because it raises, like, all your base stats. Or a few each time. Am I in the right area? Nope. So, it is important, but at the same time, I think licenses and um, equipment is much more important. Like, leveling is kind of given the back seat. Also, I hope it's, like... I hope it's watchable. Like, I hope, like, seeing speed up, like, used so often. If it's not, please let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll either drop it down to two times, or I'll... Fuck, I ran up the wrong one again. I'll either drop it down to two times instead of four, or I'll find a way to, um... To compromise. I mean, at the end of the day, um, these are videos, you know, for people to watch. So, if the speed-up is too jarring to watch, then I'll try and work on it. Mod leveled up. I mean, at this point, I should probably switch from Vaughn to Bosch, just to... Mix up the XP a little bit more. But... I don't wanna... That's, just, that's it. That's it. I just don't want to. Uh, I, I guess Ashe should be um, properly geared at this point, but I still don't want to do it. Um, yeah, Bosch is lower level too. Let's throw Mon in for Bosch, and then that should be fine. I mean, they're more or less the same fighters at this point. Oh, he holds his sword much better than Vaughn does. Um, like he's actually got like a practice stance and everything. Alright, this leads to three different areas. Oh, this is so confusing. Let's go up first, because I feel like that's not the right way to go. Which, in the law of RPGs, means we have to t we have to go check there. Okay, cool. So these things are casting dark, it looks like. So the Argyle armlets are actually getting their use. That half damage, though. Alright. So let's try this way. I will... This is one of my complaints about 12 though is that while the game is massive it's I feel like it's really fucking confusing for no real reason sometimes which is good and bad like if you're trying to go somewhere and you can't find it it's bad but if you're just trying to explore it's kind of cool that they give you so many different places to go right, let me do a ring around here first just in case oh, where does this lead uh, this is a confusing area I will say this it looks like the uh, the tomatoes have gone, so that's good. There are elementals in this area. I think they... Someone warned... I think it was one of the NPCs warned me about it. And the elementals are... Um, I think they're like level like 46. Like, they're up there with the dinosaur. And they're not... Like the dinosaur, they don't aggro right away. But 
if they do, you're in trouble because they're really heavy hitters. They deal magic damage, which is a lot harder to like block for. Magic resist is a lot harder to create than um than like regular defense. No! What did I just kill? What what broke my chain just now? Damn it. I mean, a new enemy, so that's cool. I do I think one of the trophies is to complete the bestiary, so I guess that's not terrible. Oh. Yensa, that's what they're called. What a very inspired name. Well, alright. That sucks. I had a pretty good chain going. Which means more loot. Actually, I, I wasn't checking. What loot did they drop? Earthstones? That's better than nothing. Earthstones aren't great, but they're a pretty decent item. And they drop gill, too. So they're not really great enemies to chain, so I'm not too worried about it. That goes into that very confusing area. I still haven't checked out this one over here. Tomatoes. Tomatoes actually give succulent fruit, which I think is a better one. Also, well, I mean, it's good to get all the different kind of items because once I sell them, the bazaar will open up um, Spear Tongue B. The fuck is a Spear Tongue? Where are they? That's interesting. Whoops. Okay, those are all the rins or whatever they're called. A Warhammer. Nice. Can Bosch equip Warhammers? Not that it matters, because he's got the Sword of Kings right now. Um, Longsword. Can you really not equip Warhammers? I feel like him of all people should have had axes and hammers. Maybe that's in, in a different license board. They just summon another one? That's kind of cool. Um, oh, what's this? Wyvern. A. Interesting. That's not... That's not the hunt, is it? Stole a Firestone. I don't know how worth it that was. No, I would have seen my hunt or something. That is kind of cool that those spawn there. Didn't think about that, but where is my hunt? Because I, I, I thought it would take me longer to get to the Sand Sea, so I wasn't really looking out for it. No, nope, that's the best Jerry. Uh, hunts. Cheryl apparently spotted a wyvern patrol in the sand sea. He hopes the beast can be found on the western edge of Nam Yensa. So that would be where, where it says west to the Ogier Yensa, but I think we're already in the Ogier Yensa. So it's west. So it's going to be one of these areas. I'm going to try that one upwards, actually. Actually, before I do that, I want to see what, where that other area leads. Just out of curiosity. I don't know how Fran managed to get a cure off while I'm running this fast. I'm kind of impressed. Alright, this is the wrong way. This is a dead end. I've been here already. Okay. I mean, you can't zoom out the map, but it, I mean, it's hard to get mad about a confusing area when they give you the map, like, immediately. If I didn't have a map here, this would be very, very frustrating. Uh, okay. That being said, I would appreciate it if there wasn't like a billion ringed areas, but I'll take what I can get. I, I really don't want to have to level up Pinello. I'd rather have his, her as like a secondary or something. I want to prioritize Vaughn and um, Balthier, I think. No, nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Because I like Balthier and, and Vaughn is more or less not the main character, because this game has no main character, but he's the one you control the most, so... I'd like to have him prepped and ready. Oh, what are these? Spear tongues. These are what they were. And they're weak to fire. Good. Brand's gonna fuck them up. Some water stones. Water stone. Fran's now level 16. And then... What's this thing? I guess if I attack it, then... Or then, uh, Balthier won't steal from it, so... I'll take that. Doesn't matter. I'm not really worried about the chain at this point. Cool. So that's those are water enemies, which leads me to believe we're about to find a water area. And we got to hook around here. This is kind of hidden. Oh, it's a cave. Is this the Zenithian Caverns or whatever? Booyakasha. Zertinian. I was close. I like guessing things right. Alright. 
So we have no map for this area. And this is also um, not... I think this is an optional area. I think you might have to run through here once. But it's not like... It's not like required to come through. We got slimes. They're level 17. So these are starting to be a... A little bit... A little bit tougher. I'll, I'll attack a few of them. Oh, they split in two. Of course it did. But I don't like... This seems like a dangerous area. I probably shouldn't be here yet. But at the same time, let's open up this map a bit. Treasure. Oh, they only... Look, you, oh, what? Can they do ranged attacks? No. So that's, um... These are Scythe Mantis. Oh, level 36? <laughs> Fuck that. Nope. No, thank you. Do not approve. Alright. That's not too bad. So, found that area. I think... I just like to see where each one goes. So we're going to go up there. And then we'll come there. We'll go to that area. We'll explore this more. We'll go down there, I think. I think this this one right here is where we have to go. Or this one. I don't know which leads where. But I would just like to explore the whole place. It's been a while since we've had, since we've had like a hardcore exploration one. Like, I've done trial mode. I've done the story, which kind of navigates you straight for a while. But this is fun. 17, 17, 16, 16, 16, 16. That's... That's pretty even. Usually I don't I don't really entertain the thought of keeping them that even. Because uh, for two reasons. One, when you beat the game, you unlock level it's not I don't I'm not required to do this. Because when you beat the game, you unlock a mode that's like you start all your, it's easy mode, I guess, but you start all your characters off at level ninety. It might be made for trophy cleanup and like trial mode and stuff like that. But I mean, I appreciate that they give you the mode, but I don't really plan on using it. If possible, because this game doesn't have um, New Game Plus. I mean, that's, I guess, their version of New Game Plus. But, so I would like to do everything in one file. And that probably includes leveling all the characters up. So at least to level 50. And then I might, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll just slack off. And I can, uh, I can manipulate a little bit, like I've said before. Because it's an average of 50, so. If I don't get everyone to 50, then I can, um. Like, if I get Penelo to, like, 20. And then I get everyone else to like 60 or 70, then it'll make up the difference, but I'd rather just keep it the way it's intended. I don't, that's not normally what I say. Oh, I got Reflect, nice. Already worth coming out of here. Um, did I buy Reflect now that I think about it? I might have. Man, I really would like to start using some of these abilities. It's going to be cool when there's enemies that like require it. I think someone just leveled up, did they? Mossler did. <laughs> Who gives a shit? So the cool thing about um, guests leveling up now is that you can't outlevel them. They didn't level up in the base game. Um, so now they will always be a higher level than you. There's one character I can think of who I want to... There's one character when they're introduced and it's much, much, much later in the game. Uh, and they become a guest and when they become a guest, I think I'm going to try and do a lot of the end game stuff because that's... To my knowledge, that's the last guest. Like the last one that you keep. Like, there's a guest or two for a couple of, like, boss fights or towards the end, but you don't... Uh, it's a boss fight, and it's past the point of no return, so you don't really get to do anything with them. Uh, the one I'm talking about is Redis. Alright, this is the elemental I was talking about. Level 45. He has Reflect, Protect... Oh god. Just pass right through him. I forget... You can... You can get aggro him. Oh, how did that happen? Uh, how the fuck did Fran aggro him? And how are we all silenced? Fuck, I you know. Not fucking with that thing. Well, I mean, let's see. <laughs> There's auto save now. I can afford to do this. Imagine getting attacked by this. And then... Oh, they're dead. Well. Let's see what he's got. Fire crystal, huh? Surprisingly. Just doing one hits. Yeah. All right, B squad, let's go. Let's see if I can beat him in quick innings. I highly, highly doubt it, but let's see. Oh man, I guess I'll show us some of the new quick innings while I do this. Again, I like throwing the firefoxes. This game predates Firefox, by the way, so I think that might be where they stole the design. Just saying. 
Firefox. I, you know, what are they really? Why do they keep only doing their level ones? You have level three quickenings. They're even charged up. Fucking use them. God damn it. I have an audience and I'm trying to show them new shit. Again, just fucking level ones. Although at least if I do this, I'll activate Inferno, which probably isn't going to be that effective against this thing, if I'm being honest. Oh, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's not going to kill it. There's no way. I mean, I'm getting lucky with Mischarge. I, I might as well, you know, accept it. How about some of this? All right, we got Evanescence for Pinello. Just gonna wake me up, wake me up inside. I'm gonna use that joke every time it comes up. So, hope I don't use Pinello very often. I don't, I don't know what this is. She just kind of danced at them. Oh man, best character, ten out of ten. This is her level one again. God damn it. Give me some variety. I, for, I like, I think I remember using Maelstrom Bolt because I think I balanced Balthier. Um, I tried to balance Balthier, Ash, and Vaughn, and Bosch for most of the game. I left Fran and Penelo behind the first time I played. Oh, wasn't paying attention. It's Resplendence. I don't know if I've ever seen this one, to be honest. Huh. Reality breaking. It's strange. Fran has one that's similar to that. It's called Shatterheart, but I don't think we got a chance to use it. We can win this. Oh, man. I might actually get, um... I wonder if it saves. It probably doesn't, if I don't kill it. But I think I might get, um... I think I need one more level three. But if I get it, then I get, um... I get Whiteout, or whatever the next one is. Ooh, getting real lucky. Red Spiral is, is the quickest quickening. And I'm very worried about trying to chain after it. Got a for you. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. Ugh. Okay. This is probably where it's going to stop. Nope. You know, as much as I shit on Pinello, she, uh, she's really coming through right now. She's gotten like four mischarged. Ah, yes. Heaven's Wrath. I'll take it. It's a new one. I might have gotten one of the higher leveled ones. I might have... Man, if I got Black Hole, can you imagine? Because it wouldn't save, and that would piss me off so much. Oh, Vaughn had a mischarge. I wasn't paying attention. So this is Ash's level 2. Oh, I've seen this one a lot, yeah. I actually like that one. It reminds me of something out of Final Fantasy X, like an overdrive. This is uh, unfortunate that this is my new record for uh, quickenings. Because I'm gonna die. Got a surprise for you. Uh, oh, I, I fucking saw it too. Um, I had at one of Ash's quickenings, but I got too hasty with the recharge. That is uh, Luminescence, which, consulting my guide. Of course, it's not even close to dead. Oh, that's so depressing. Let me uh, let me check this. Luminous is the second to last one. If I had one more level three quickening, I would have had black hole. <sighs> Damn it! All right, live and let live. So the only ones I'm missing now are whiteout, four level threes, luminescence, three of each. Black hole, three of each. Which, so for luminescence, you need a minimum of nine. Nine well placed ones. Also, that would have pissed me off to no end if I had done that based on the old save system. Are you kidding me? I would have had to gone all the way back like half an hour. Um, and then, lumin so luminescence needs a minimum of nine. Black hole means needs a minimum of 12. They didn't make these easier, weirdly enough. They made some of them, but not the last two, which bothers me a little bit. Alright, back up here again. I have a feeling this is where the hunt is going to be. Oh man, I almost I almost didn't come to this area, and if I remember, this is where I found Reflect. <laughs> That's how they get you. They make you forget where you got. 
Alright, let's ignore that elemental. In fact, let's steer as far away from it as I can. I don't know what it drops, but I'm willing to bet it's not enough. Also, it's good to see that uh, having Balthier's steel is pretty viable here. Like, it doesn't seem like it's getting us into trouble. And maybe it's just having Fran heal as well. But I'm liking that this combination is working together. I like it. Okay, there's a chest here. I don't know if I got this last time. I don't know what set off the, uh, the elemental. Maybe it was I attacked, um, close to it. Or maybe it was because I, um, I stepped on a trap or something. And that affected it. I don't know. I, 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 they're finicky sometimes, and that's what scares me. Especially for an enemy that big to just randomly fucking attack. I'm never ready for it. Okay. I don't remember where I saw him last time either. I think he can roam between um, areas, which is also terrifying. Alright, we're doing well. I think the chain's about to increase. I got a serious. Oh, cool, so I would have found it anyway. That's where. Uh, that's the gun that both here has that I got off that rare enemy. We got Earth Magicite, which is the upgraded version of Earth Crystals. We got our upgraded version of Earth Stones. We got that because we've been chaining so many of them together. Bosch leveled up. All right, he's at level 17. This probably means that uh, Vaughn has less HP than him now. Uh, do you want to take Balthier out? No, because he's got Libra and he's stealing. I should take Fran out, but she's also healing. Um, I guess we'll be fine for now. I'll go back to this team. Okay. I didn't find anything. Well, I mean, I found a bunch of treasure chests. And that's cool. But I haven't really found... Too much of note, I guess I should say. Are they, how much XP are they giving now? Because I think XP goes down. No, they're still giving 90. It looked like it said 9. Oh, there it is. Let's avoid the fuck out of that. Maybe it's for standing to... Whoa, did that thing just attack? Oh my god, get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want to be here. I'm not dealing with the shit. That's the new area. This is, oh, there's two new areas. Shit. One goes that way, one goes down. I think I want to go to the one that goes down first. I need these chests. So I guess it roams between all of these. I don't know where it is now. I'm scared. That's this one leads down. Yeah, we'll go to this one. I really do like exploring this game. Especially when I'm getting those chains! I don't know if another uh, elemental is going to spawn here, but if it does, I'm very scared. Alright, we'll go that way first. Let's fully explore this area first, because I don't know. I'm still on the lookout for that hunt. I think it said the NAMC, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to search anyway. Okay. I mean... There's a trophy for revealing every bits of all the maps, and I don't know if that means if it getting. I think getting the map, like the actual like map item, I think that counts towards it. But I'm not sure. I think that just like checks it off, so you don't have to do it then. All right, I saw something down here. I swear I saw a weird enemy. Um, are those tomatoes again? I'm gonna avoid you guys. All right, what's over here? That's the that goes that way. Okay, let's let's turn speed off off. Speed up off. Shit, what? I'm just gonna run. Just see if there's any chests here. I don't want to break my chain. It's very very helpful at the moment. Are these war song? What the fuck is war song? All right, this is what I don't like. Is that? No, hold on. Nope, they're being targeted. I can send Fran away. Now oh, come on. Nope. Run! Don't attack! Run! Be free! Alright, I got everything I need. And there was nothing there. Uh, do I want to go backwards? No. Only go forwards. Okay, let's take Fran back out. You can feel the party member of one. Um, or maybe not with the guests. I don't think you can take... Yeah, he's locked in no matter what. You can't get rid of the guests. Which makes sense. Um... Okay, I guess I'll go to this one. This little dead end here. I'm sure there's a nice little chest. Oh, no! Oh, God, that was so close. No chest. Okay, doesn't matter. Oh, there's a chest. 34 gil, was it worth it? I mean, not really. Brand's almost dead. Doesn't matter, I'm out of here. 
Okay, wait, these are normal enemies. We can fight them again. Whew, was it worth it? Probably not. But if it raises the chance of me getting more loot, then I'll absolutely do it. Although, I wonder if it's worth it. I wonder if it's skipping a bunch of enemies on the chance that some certain enemies will give you more loot. I wonder if someone probably did research into that. It's weird. I feel like we're in a better age now of like information games because this was around the era. I mean, this I think there's an Alex guide for this, which if you don't know, Alex is like the um the really 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 in-depth like guide maker for game facts. And he did games from like he did them in the early to early to like mid to late 2000s. So any game that came out during that time and I think he did them a little earlier than that too. Like he might have done a few here and there, but he made really really in-depth guides. For these games, um, like I know he made he made them for a lot of the major ones. Like I think he made for Ocarina of Time, for uh, like Dragon Quest VIII, um, uh, God of War, etc. Like he pretty much played everything. Do we owe a lot of? And I think a lot of people tried to emulate him, which is why we owe a lot to like the Information Age for games from A space L space E space X. He did a Game Facts, or I'm sorry, he did a AMA on Reddit once. I think I scrolled through it. It was pretty cool. I asked him if um if he got a lot of like hits every time a game was like re-released, and he said, "Yeah, it's like crazy. You can always like he he didn't realize some games were re-released until he sees how many hits he got or something like that, which is pretty cool. I don't really get notifications like that uh, for YouTube stuff. Occasionally, I'll get like resurge or surges, but for the most part, Digimon games don't get re-released, so not really an issue for me. Hey, they're dropping Phoenix Downs. That's good. Alright, uh, let's go up because I haven't explored there yet. I am slightly concerned I'm not going to find this uh, Wyvern. I'm not worried that I can't beat it. I'm concerned I can't find it. <laughs> I can definitely beat it because it's hunt like number 6 and I've already defeated 7 and 8, so... But, I mean, I did just quickening spam them. So maybe I should limit myself and stop using as many quickenings. Maybe that's how I can challenge myself. But at the same time, I, I want to live, so... You know, you gotta weigh the options. Uh, nothing there. I know this is a dead end, but I just want to explore anyway. Gotta be honest, still haven't found that area where we uh, fought the Bagolis. This kind of surprises me. I really thought it would be obvious, but... Uh, no! Oh, I gotta check anyway. Alright, well... These fucks. Who is growing these potatoes? Potatoes. Tomatoes. Potato tomato. You know, it's fine. Alright. Do I see anything interesting? Well, the notification, like the did it goes off around Vaughn if he's close to a treasure, so. Here we go. Nope. Grab the treasure. Potion. Boy, that wasn't worth it. Oh, there's another one. 73 gill. This has uh, not been a worthy excursion, truth be told. Um, Alright. They're still chasing me. Holy shit. That one was going to chase me to the ends of the fucking earth. Um, Alright. I gotta go back to that area, because I guess I never explored it. And then there's a couple down here. So I want to go back, and I want to go up there. The reason I want to do this is hopefully we don't have to come back here. <laughs> That's the goal. Is that once I explore here, maybe I'll be lucky and find a teleport crystal, and then I can just go directly there. Because I can't imagine how you're supposed to get to some of these areas without, um... I guess just fucking running straight through. And I'm probably going to break the chain when I do it this time. Yep. It's all spearheads. That's fine. Chain had to be broken eventually. I'd rather it was like, you know, because I'm going to a new area and not because, um, you know, some random fucking tomatoes spawned. It's random fish. Do they live in the sand? What are you doing here? I saw Fran light up and I thought another enemy appeared behind it and I was scared. I was like, that's how rare enemies appear. Weird spawning conditions. I think I really only found like two rare enemies. I found neck. I don't even know if I found neck, but. Um, I've only found, uh, what do you call it, um, that alier one, the bat one that was in, uh, the mines. And I think that's a pretty common one. Alright, we're going back to the caves, I'm imagining. Yep. 
Finding a different entrance. Hopefully I don't get fucking rocked. So I've been drinking soda for many months. And I've been, I drank some energy drinks because I need to get the caffeine back in my system some days when I need to like stream and stuff. And now I'm just trying all the Mountain Dew flavors I missed. It kind of feels like the slow watching of an addict slowly get addicted again. I'm trying Mountain Dew Holiday Brew, which is just code red and regular Mountain Dew. It's not bad, but I'm just like, this is not that revolutionary of a flavor, truth be told. Not bad. Fran fucking laid into them with fire. Now, I don't think I th don't think you can find Espers until you unlock Belias, who's the first story one, which is coming up. But if you can, there is one in this place, which is what makes me worry. Like I'm, I'm like, can I trigger this first? There's no way I would have heard about this. My spear time. These are so far staying close to my level, which I like. They're all weak to fire, which is strange. Maybe uh, Fran shouldn't cast. I mean, she's doing a lot of damage, and I, so I like the idea of it. But maybe she shouldn't be casting oil. Uh, that was Fran again. Fran's up to 18. That's cool. She's my healer too, though, so I can't really pull her out. I guess I can. Hold on. I can. Um, oh, sight unseen. That's the ability that uh, Bosch learned. That I was like, that's weird. All right. Um. Yeah. Why is her quickening not charged? When did she use her quickening? I wonder if it got sapped somehow. That's weird. Um, so I don't have a map for this place, but I'm still gonna explore. Hmm. Oh, wait, right. Fran casts fire no matter what. That, she only casts oil when they're weak to fire. Although, I wonder if that's... You know, now that I think about it, I think oil just might make them weak to fire. So it might be not completely necessary to teach them that. Yeah, let's uh let's do something else. Let's do lightning week and or let's do ice week and then do blizzard. I mean oil's cool and all. Increases fire damage delta all foes in range. I don't know if that means it makes it weak. That's confusing. Um Yeah, we'll go with the blizzard one for now. I should be getting level two spells soon. Can't believe we didn't hit that. Oh, cool. So it looks like I'm going to come out on a different part of the sand sea. So that saves me the trouble of having to... Oh, wow. Hidden area. Cool. I like that. I mean, there's definitely going to be a fucking enemy spawning behind me, but... So you have chain mail and a high ether. Oh, bagolis. I see them. They're up... Oh, it's not a hidden area. It's... Oh, this is the area, I think. Alright, stole a large feather. Oh, these are fucking... These ones are super weak. <laughs> There's no way. They weren't even close to beans this week. But this is the area, though. I wonder if that rare enemy will spawn here, too. I find that very annoying after how hard I had to work to, uh, to fight those other ones. What do we got? We got a turtle shell choker. Now... Oh, it does! Holy cool! That's really cool! Okay. I like that. I like that um, it works the same way. So this is definitely a, uh, a rare enemy. Because I can't use Libra on it. Oh, don't step into it, Mon. Telekinesis would be great here. Fran is slowed, which isn't great. I don't really have any way to cure slow. Alright, he fucks off, but is he gonna come back? Yeah. I don't know why that's in his AI. That's super strange to me. Oh, I should have tried to poach him. Did he drop anything? I don't think so. That's cool, though. And Fran had to charge because she used so much MP. Why is Bosch's thing not charged either? How did this happen? Why are your quickenings not charged? Oh, wait. No. Balthier's not with me. That large feather... Alright, let's... I don't know why yours isn't charged, but I'm sure we'll touch a save crystal eventually, so... For now, let's do that. I do feel kind of cool that I found, like, this hidden area. That happened to be the area I was searching for. I really wish there was a hunt here, though. That would have been cool. 
This would have been a great place for that uh, wyvern to spawn. Um, let me see. Let's look at my clan primer. I want to look at I'm the Gult, whatever it's called. Uh, the Arcadian Empire, Humanoids, Rare Game. Oh, so I find five Rare Game. I guess it counts it from Trial Mode. That's cool. So Ariel, which is the first one we found. Uh, rarity five stars. Ripe Rampager. Bidjigor adapted over many generations of life in the harsh desert. This strain, as yet unrecorded in the camp annals, is hunted in the Damascus. Oh, this is in the Esther Sands. I wonder if I can find it. I don't know. It's spawning conditions. Razorfin, Piranha Born, Mutated in Befouled Waters. This strain yet... Is in the Grams Waterway. Neck bets is in the Damascus Esther Stand. Actually, it's in the Giza. No, it's in the Esther Stand. A zoo with needle sharp teeth that can be spotted flying over the desert sands. This strain, yes, yet run recorded, is hunted in the Amiensa Sand Sea. Okay. Wish it told you um different things. Also, I'm glad it recorded Begamnon because I killed him. There's Fire Mane. Remember this guy? Remember the Mimic Queen? Remember when we had bosses? Those are fun. I missed them. Alright. That was a cool little excursion. I'm glad I did it. I don't like that they keep, like... How, how do I explain it? That they keep, like, having me come through this this area, but, like, not really. Like, there's... We're not in the main caverns. Like, we're separated completely. Oh, I guess... That... No. I was gonna say, this one looks like it's connected, but it's not. Yeah, I guess it's a good preview of the next area. Divide is a ridiculous ability. Also, Balthier is uh, trapped because he'll... Oh god, I'm still sleeping. Is there any way to wake me up? I guess it just heals over time. It's not just yet another reason why speed up is pretty cool. It just makes things like that more bearable. You know, these things are taking multiple hits. These are uh, much better for my current level. Did I go down this way? I did. I think I saw treasure somewhere. Maybe not. I guess we were, I think we were taking these down quicker when Fran was using oil, so maybe oil is worth it. But she's really low on MP right now, so I'm hesitant to uh, go too deep into it. We're not doing enough running around without fighting enemies. Maybe I should have her uh, stop casting spells for a while, although this one it makes sense because these are heavy hitters. Wow, three at once? This is not going to end well for us. And I keep trying to cast fucking sleep. Stop it. That actually worked pretty well. I'll accept that. Alright. So where are we now? I think we're only through one half, truth be told. Because I think this is this Ogier Yensa Sand Sea. So we still haven't found the Namso one. I'll take however long it takes to uh to get to the next area. Just to... I want to get the desert done in one... Like just all in one shot. I feel like that's a better idea. Let's fight these things again. They're not giving me nearly the, the amount of uh, loot they were before. I had those massive chains, but it was worth it. I got a little excursion. Went a little vacation. Found a little cool area. All right, I think I'm just going to go down here. Did I explore those bottom areas? No. <sighs> Damn it. Now it's getting excessive. I still got to find out where that area at the bottom leads to. I'm willing to bet it's the same area, but still gotta check. You know, we're getting a little, we're getting a little higher than I'd like here. Um, I'll take Fran out, put Ash in, and then make sure her gambit has a heal. It does, and then yeah, that's fine. That's simple enough. Uh, and she has Libra too, so I can take Balthier out. And, I hate to say this, start loving Pinello. Ugh. I don't know what Pinello's gambits are. I did not mess with her at all. Party leader's target. Uh, let's go with lowest HP so she can attack on her own. What abilities does she even have? Oh, hold on. Poach, first aid. I can do poach. Uh, foe, HP critical, I don't have. Oh, I guess I don't have that gambit. Uh, I guess this'll probably be fine. I wish I had below 30. She can try it. I don't think it'll go through if it's not done. And then, does she have first aid? 
she had, yeah, she has a first aid. Okay, first aid. Uh, ally HP critical. Yeah, ally status HP critical. Throw that up there. All right, that should be fine. What are um? Make sure everyone's optimized. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, shielded armor. I guess that was a rare steal. I'll take that. Um, she's fine. I really... Do I not have more swords for her yet? Or more shields, I should say? Oh, also, I guess optimizing doesn't include a fucking accessory. Um, Aratia armlets, diamond armlets, uh, steel gorgets, manufactured nethesites. She can be silenced, that's fine. Doubles license point earned. I've never seen this before. Wow. That would be helpful, actually. But she, And she can equip it, so I mean... Cool. Yeah, that's worth it. I mean, she has to be in the battle for it, which is unfortunate, but... Wow, I got a lot. Alright. Uh, let's... I'll do this at the end, but real quick, I just want to look for the shields and find out if I can give, um... Give her a better shield. Get another gambit. This is surprisingly cheap. Just because um, the other two aren't equipping shields at the moment. Uh, let me look to see if any of this can be equipped. No, doesn't look like it. And she's got a lot of magic lore. She's got HP boosts. Alright, I'll leave that for now. Um, and then equip. Golden shield. Oh, these do the same? Interesting. So the flame shield is just the golden shield, but it also has fire damage. That's cool. I'll take that. Red Mage seems like a pretty cool class so far. All oh, right, I gotta. Forgot I gotta change Vaughn's gambit so he starts stealing. I can't believe I don't have any other gambits with Vaughn. I'm so lazy. All right. Uh, yes, still going forward. No tomatoes. What is she? What is Penelope? Who's Penelope using? Poach on? Oh, she actually did poach it for her pebble. That's depressing. I gotta check. Because I don't know if poaching um, eliminates their exp their license and um, I can't tell. Poaching failed. Poaching failed. I might just have her not do that. Truth be told. Um, Vanilla. Oh, she's sleeping too. That's fun. <sighs> yeah, it was it was interesting. But until I get um, until I get. HP, faux HP critical, and that's pointless. Right, I'm gonna run in circles until Ash wakes up. Ash. Wakey, wakey. There we go. I should also give her a gambit if I have enough room. I think I just got another gambit slot. Uh, ally HP. Uh, below 80%. Um, cure. But at the end here. Let's, let's have her do Cura, actually. Where is it? There we go. That's a lot of MP, but... Actually, I don't know if that's as much. What does it do? Yeah, so this one restores HP to everyone. I think that's probably the better one. Because if someone got damaged below 80%, then she's probably going to have to heal them up. But at the same time, I don't want her using a bunch of MP in battle. Because that can go badly very quickly. Alright. This is really intense. I feel like... I'm not as even though not too much is happening, I feel like there's a lot of strategy going on. And I'm trying to I'm not, I'm not finding it hard to find stuff to talk about in the game, which I'm not used to, especially in a Final Fantasy game. Like these tip to kinda drag on usually. Uh, now uh, of course now that I've said it, I'm thinking about it and I can't think of anything to say. God, stop casting sleep. What the fuck? They weren't casting sleep at all, and then all of a sudden Um you know, those fucking slimes kept casting it. Now everyone's casting sleep. Uh, Alright. Got more of this area to explore. There's gonna be more tomatoes coming up. Which I might just kill this time, truth be told. Oh, Vaughn's kinda fucked here. In groups of, like, in large groups, it seems like Vaughn doesn't do super well. He just doesn't attack. It's, it was much better when Balthier had this. I don't know who else can learn steel. Um, I don't know if it's that worth it to steal from them either. Cause I mean, they're dropping pebbles, but yeah. why isn't um why isn't Ash doing it? 
You should be healing. Ally below 80%. Ally below 40%. Does she not consider Penel an ally? Because Penel's HP is real low. Does she not... Does she not have a weapon? What's going on here? Why is she not allowed to... Cast? Let's try this. Okay, so it is like an actual range. That's pretty cool. But why shouldn't, didn't she do that? Oh, because her gambits aren't turned on. Idiot. I wonder what she was doing. Was she just sitting there? How did that even happen? Also, Kira looks awesome. Ash is a much better healer than Fran is at this moment. Also, Kira's supposed to take... Let me look at that. Kira, it said in the menu that it took 26 to cast. But it only says 20 for her, and Kira says 6. There must be a skill that reduces MP cost. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know where it is, but it exists. I said I was going to fight the tomatoes, and I lied to you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm going to leave it to... Oh, there, there's a wyvern. Is that the one I'm supposed to kill, though? How do I draw it over here? Oi. Oi, prick. No, just a regular wyvern. I'll take it, though. Wait, I want to steal. I don't know what you have, but I want it. Couldn't steal. That's disappointing. So I wonder if that's exactly what the hunt's going to look like, or if he's going to be like a bigger, better version. I also wonder where he is. Now, on paper, it shouldn't be that hard to get through this area, but I've made it re take really long. <laughs> but, by the same token, I've explored everywhere, and I've gotten a lot of loot, gotten a few levels, finally set gambits for Ash and Vanello. I think it's been overall a good thing. I need to, I need to give um, Ash one more gambit, because I just realized she doesn't have charge. So, that could come in. And that could be bad. I was going to say come in handy, but the opposite of come in handy. And that could cause trouble. Alright, let's back that way. I've had to check the map a lot. I don't like that. I wish it was more spread out or something. I don't know. I don't have a solution. I just like to complain. I am an American. <laughs> Ooh, where does he get political? Yeah, Americans complain. Everyone complains. It's a fucking joke. Take it. Uh, speaking of jokes, I don't want to talk about this, but like three of my friends have brought this up, and so it's like fresh on my mind, but Louis C.K. really out here just masturbating in front of people. Like, what a fucking creep. <laughs> He's, um, I liked him when I was younger. I mean, if you're a long-time viewer of the channel, then you know I have a slightly more annoyed view of him now, because, um, or not now, I guess for years. When I was, um, when I was in college, I took a class called, um, it was a stand-up class, like it was just like comedy writing, and we had to write a stand-up routine, and we would like study different stand-ups and stuff like that. And I, oh, there's a teleport crystal, fucking nice. Now, does this heal everyone in my thing? Yes. Also, where did I get more teleport crystals? Because I have eleven now, and I definitely used them because I remember being upset that I used them. Um. But yeah, so I had a stand-up class, and my professor was trying to upload Louis C.K.'s special, Hilarious. I think it was the one that was in 2012 or something like that. And he, um, he was having trouble uploading it to Blackboard, our, um, our, like, education site type thing. And he, um, so I was like, oh, I have a YouTube channel. This was when it was, like, a year or two old. And I was like, I can upload it. And he was like, oh, cool. So I uploaded it into three parts, and uh, I got three copyright strikes, and it shut down. I couldn't upload videos longer than 15 minutes and stuff like that. I couldn't change my thumbnails. It gimped my channel. And I had to start Dino Laser Inc., which is a different channel, and it was not fun. So, and then, like, I emailed him, and I messaged him a bunch of different places trying to, you know, appeal to him and just be like, I, there was nothing, I had no intention we're doing a class. Never responded. I don't blame him. Like, it has nothing to do with it. I'm sure it was, like, his people took it down or something, or even YouTube, but it's still just, you know, I can't help but not blame him a little bit of it. Oh, and you will see people out here were trying to catch up some sandfish, but they're not biting. I found a bunch of them. Why, not, why have you come to such a place? You seem to be adventurers. Yes, surely you did not come to hunt treasure in the Valley of the Dead. Valley of the Dead? Treasure hunter? No, you'd best avoid that place, lest you care to tangle with the navy and most fell. Speaking of which, you have all the equipment you need. The Jensen Sand Sea is a vast place. You need something, maybe I can help. Wow, fucking super helpful. <laughs> what is this 
fucking point. Uh, I sh oh, Cronus Tears removes slow and slow, slow, slow and stop. I've been getting a lot. Of also, I'm back up on Phoenix Downs. That's not bad. Let's sell my loot so I can uh, so I can see if I can. Any oh, succulent fruit. Fruit. Succulent fruit is worth a lot. Maybe I should have prioritized chaining tomatoes instead of those fucking sand people. Not being racist. I mean, they literally came out of the sand. Pebbles. I wonder if you get anything for selling a bunch of pebbles. Probably not, right? Ends of Finn. Firestone. Crooked Fang. Waterstone. Probably got those from the Toads. Horns I definitely got from the Toads. Fish Scale. Green Liquid. I got a lot of green liquid. Why is green liquid worth less than those fucking fruits? I mean, I don't care. I'm getting a lot of money. Earth Magicite. Large Feather. So they were dropping bent staffs. A staff bent beyond all usefulness like that. His former bear's life ended in violence. Why were the Bogolis dropping this? Was it a rare steal and I happen to get four of them? And then frog oil. Which definitely is rare. I'm excited to see what's unlocked. Holy shit. Uh, I thought, I, I don't know why, but in my head I like looked at these and I was like, wow. First aid kit. Um, kit contains potions. Types of phoenix down the price. No bargain hunter. Tear pass down. Two and two. Not bad. Tinctures and tonics, also not bad. I'll take those free stuff. Rain of Tears contains one Vega and one punch of Water Shot, which bear a striking resemblance to Tears. Every bit is useful against those fiery beasts you'd hope. Uh, I'll equip Aqua Shot. Wooden pole, one pole carved from a fine grain wood, highly prized in the Eastern Kingdoms and been reinforced. This is probably what you get for the bent staff. Cypress pole, Cypress pole. That's a that's like the starting spear in Dragon Quest games. I wonder if that's a reference. This is around the time when Square and Enix merged together. Large gloves, blazer gloves. I don't know what those do. And then I can afford one of these. I'm gonna look it up again. Hunter monograph. I think this is where I'm looking. Yeah. So I don't know which ones I have. I think I have the hunters one, which is beasts and avians. Um, I have the mages one. I'm gonna get the dragoons one, which is dragons and plants. And then the only ones I'll have left is Constructs, Elementals, and Giants and Insects. So this one is 22,000. It's the first one, I think. Dragoon's Monograph. I'll take it. Alright, so as fun as this was, I can't come to I can't go back to this area just yet. Um I think that is where I'm supposed to go. Because, I mean, the way he was talking, and or this might be the halfway point, in which case I've made a huge mistake by making this take this long. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Vaughn, I wish you were better at this. Party... What am I looking for again? I lost my train of thought. Alright. Very curious to see if there's anything good here. I'm really tell trying to tell myself it's not going to be a waste. <laughs> and that this was the entire sand sea. But now I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, I might have made this take much longer than it needed to. I think I should switch. Yeah, I think I should switch um, Ash's uh, gambits. I think this one should be Kira. And this one should be Kira. Otherwise, I think she's going to lose a lot more MP. I probably should have seen that coming a while ago. But I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. Not as much as I should have been, anyway. Vosh is... Vosh. Uh, Vosla is pretty helpful here. Oh, I was looking at levels. That's what I was doing. They're both 16 still. Okay. Keep them in there until they're 18. And then... I'll we'll be equal. Not gonna make a weird joke about girls being 18. Especially after just talking about Louis C.K. being a fucking creep masturbating in front of people. Just to be clear, uh, please Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. I guess as early as like 2000, Louis C.K. would like invite girls back to his fucking apartment and like, or his hotels and just like masturbate in front of them. Which is really fucked up. Non consensually, might I add. That's the reason why it's so fucked up. This is. The Namian Sistency. Oh my god, I'm only halfway. I fucked up so bad. We're in an hour already. Although this area looks much smaller. I lied. It doesn't look small. Oh, okay. So that's where that came out. 
All right. Oh, God, what have I done? We'll check this area. We'll run through here, and then we'll run to there, because I know that's where uh, the save crystal is. Oh, God. And then we'll go that way, I guess. We'll go to this area. We'll go through here. And we'll do that, that, and that. All in the next part, because we're at an hour and five minutes. Oh, God, why did it make it take so long? There was no payoff. Well, there's a couple people I can talk to here. Oh. He was talking to a sand dude. What up, my friend? Sand Sea Moogle. You see the Ersten Jensen just now? They usually have violent law, but this one wanted to help. Interested? Of course. The Ersten Jensen are all in a panic about a creature in the name. Jensen Sand Sea. They're blood enemy, it seems. One of them was asking for help, and Ersten Jensen asked for help. Whatever it's, it is, it's gotta be bad, Kupo. You look pretty strong. Maybe you could have... I was swinging at the thing. It's supposed to be something like a giant tortoise. So you found some treasure of the sand sea too. Why, why you might be able to claim that as a reward if you're successful. Man, I'll fuck up a turtle. I've already killed one. I can kill two. A Moogle also told me to kill this turtle. I might be hallucinating now that I think about it. It's random people telling me to kill turtles. So uh, this video should go out. I think I when this video is going to be going out, I'm going to leave on vacation. Um, for a week, a little earlier. So, I'm gonna record the next one anyway, mostly because I'm just gonna keep playing, because I like this game. Um, but, I can safely say that you're in for some surprises in the upcoming week or two of content. Oh, I never noticed you can see the reflections in there. That's pretty fucking cool. Look at it, you can see Vaughn like twisting around. You can even see him move. That's pretty cool, I've never noticed that. All right, tune in for the next parts, probably a week from now.